Zers on the Winding Cove on the EDZ. He's currently selling the Season of Dawn activity armor, which is pretty cool. There's definitely a really good pieces from all the classes. So if you guys want to pick them up, obviously pick them up. If you guys don't have them, I obviously recommend pick them up. You might never know when you're going to use them in your rotation. But yeah, let's look at the Warlocks first. For Warlocks, we're going to be looking at oh, way too high mobility personally. This one's actually pretty good. You can do a few things. You can go for resilience, recovery, or discipline. I would probably do discipline so I can have ones on the most important uh, pieces for me personally. But it's also pretty good for like an, a bump on recovery or resilience. This one's pretty good. I would actually pick this one up. Uh, helmet, too high mobility, and fuck, this, these boots are good. 20 resilience is nice. Nine recovery is fine because once you master it, it'll be 11. And if you bump the bump up the recovery to a plus 10, then it'll be a 21. So 20 resilience, 20. Well, actually, at that point, it would be a 22 resilience and then a 21 recovery and then 18 discipline is actually pretty nice. Um, I actually might pick these up depending if I don't have good boots, but I'm pretty sure I have good boots. But yeah, Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I really like this armor. Uh, the only thing that kind of sucks is I think the chest piece is like the only piece that's kind of like whatever's. The bond is also kind of boring, but I think the helmet, the boots, and the arms are very usable. As for the Titans, I think the boots are pretty usable. The helmet is also pretty usable. Chest piece, pretty much every piece from this whole set is pretty usable. I think the arms are the only thing that's kind of like basic. But it's still usable in the sense of like you can combine it with certain things. I've seen really cool pieces come out or really cool sets, I should say, come out from some of these pieces. So Titans, I highly recommend a lot of these pieces. As for the armor set itself, we are looking at high mobility for this one. I probably would ignore. Um, this one's OK. If you don't have anything better than for sure, by all means. Um, I mean, bump up the resilience to a plus 10. You'll have a 2017. That's not bad, but definitely lower than I would like. And then mm, very decent to high mobility for me, but I mean, it's fine. Titans, let me know what you guys think. Again, if you want to choose the best pieces, I think the mark is really good for like low key looks. The chest piece is pretty good. Uh, I, I Again, I think all the pieces are really good. Just pick up what you don't have or if you can afford it, just go up all out because again, you will be using at least some of these pieces in some of your rotations, because again, it's better to have a lot of pieces than not, uh, especially when you're trying to experiment and make new looks. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. And last but not least, we have the hunters, which I think uh, the cloak is really good. Helmet is also really good. Boots are really good. And the chest piece is really good. I don't personally like the arm that much, but it's still usable in certain situations. So again, uh, for pretty much all the classes, I just recommend all of them. If you have these shards to afford it, definitely do it. I do understand if you don't, because just one set for one class does cost 250, which is un unreal. I think they should be way cheaper, but if you can afford it, definitely get them. Even though I say that for almost every video for Zerb, but I do like, I really do think you guys need to get some of these armors because they're really good to have in your repertoire. So hunters let's see what you guys have um this is not bad uh once you master work this it'll be a 20 for recovery which is pretty good uh so it'll be a 14 14 20 if 14 on mobility assuming you put it on mobility or you can just go all in all out on the resilience and bump up the resilience to a 22 24 once master work so 24 and a 20 which eh, would be cool you would just need to uh, even it out or you can just put powerful friends on it. But that's assuming you already don't use that. So like for me, th that wouldn't be a good idea because all my sets at least have like 10 on it. So I would actually be losing mobility for this one. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of over the mobility, the high mobility, low resilience, high recovery. I'm like really over it because I really want at least a 10 on resilience so that way if all this all else fails i'll have like a 40 base and then i can put like uh resilience mods on at least two so that way i can have six because at minimum i want six resilience at least for pvp um this one is eh this one's okay i mean i've seen better and this one's 
I, I would not pick this up. So yeah, Hunters, let me know what you guys think. What are you guys going to be picking up? Let me know in the comments below. As for the weapons, I did look, look at the weapons real quick. And bro, let me tell y'all, there's a lot of god rolls right here. So we have Chroma Rush with Feeding Frenzy and Wellspring. To some people, this might be a god roll. Personally, I'm not a big fan of it. I like the rolls that I already have. So I would personally just skip this. If you don't have a Chroma Rush though, pick it up because Chroma Rush is a really good weapon. Uh, we have Whispering Slab with Hipfire Grip and Swashbuckler. If you're into bows and you punch a lot, I think this would be a good pick because Hipfire Grip on a bow is really nice, but you can definitely skip it if you don't really feel comfortable getting it. Uh, Grid Skipper with Tunnel Vision and Frenzy. This one actually is pretty decent. I mean, again, I personally like the set, the one that I have more, most considering I think it's Tunnel Vision and Multi-Kill Clip, the one I have. And Range Finder as well. This would be a real... I still, yeah, I would recommend this one for sure. Uh, definitely super, super good. Truth Teller with, uh, what is it? I just, auto loading holster and a demo, I think it was. Yeah. So this one's pretty cool because demo on a grenade launcher is always nice. And auto loading is also always nice. So I would probably pick this up if I don't think I have this one. Uh, so I'm just going to pick it up. We have Punching Out with Feeding Frenzy and Unrelenting. Uh, this would be a nice one if you're, you look, if you're trying to go for something that has a little bit more survivability because Unrelenting is really nice. Although that being said, the SMG from Season of the Haunted already had, I don't have it on me, unfortunate, but it does have Unrelenting, uh, the enhanced version of it as well. So I probably would just get that one. We have Seventh Seraph with auto auto loading holster and Vorpal weapon. So unfortunately, as much as I want to say this is a god roll, Vorpal on it is kind of not good because it's not a 15% buff like it used to be. It's only a 10% buff, I think. I think it's a 10% buff. And I would probably still pick this up. I think I already have one of these in my vault from when Season of the Worthy was still here. So I'm probably not gonna pick it up. Uh yeah, again, unless I or I don't have it anymore. But having a machine gun with Vorpal weapon and auto loading is always nice because you don't have to worry about reloading this bitch. And the extra 10% is really nice, especially if you uh, put on minor spec as well. Or you can probably put on major spec or boss spec as well. Either way, I would probably still recommend this one. Uh, we have Frozen Orbit. So this is the one where I'm just kind of like, I might pick this up even though I don't snipe. So we're looking at moving target and opening shot for an aggressive frame which is pretty wild full bore which is definitely not what you want but i i don't know the only thing i don't think is good is the the barrel because i'm not too savvy on barrels but i'm pretty sure this is not a good barrel now let me know in the comments below but i i'm like i'm pretty sure this is not a good barrel i would probably i'm probably still gonna pick this up because I want a frozen or like a god roll frozen orbit specifically a pve one but it's been a bitch farming this asshole so i'm probably just gonna get this one just to be like i have it why not but yeah uh i definitely think the frozen orbit one is really good seven seraph saw is really good as well the truth teller is really good grid skipper is really good and chroma rush is really good so those are the ones i would probably pick up for the exotics, we're looking at hit fire grip for Hawk Moon. I'm gonna ignore that. Dead Man's Tail with Killing Wind. I'm also gonna ignore that because I shouldn't because Killing Wind is pretty nice on Dead Man's Tail. It's just that Dead Man's Tail, the nerf just really pisses pisses me off. We have Arbalist for the exotic. Definitely pick this up if you don't have it. This is one of the best exotics to use for barrier champions. Probably one of the best, if not the best and it really is just that easy not only that uh specifically for me i do a lot of bounties for bright dust so arbalist is the exotic i use when i have to get linear fusion kills because i get tired of trying to get that with heavy heavy uh linear fusion rifles so that's just more of a me thing than anything else we have frosties with i want to say pretty terrible rolls i'm gonna be real with you guys um yeah, I'm not. I, mm, that strength is pretty high, though. The intellect is 10. Um, I would probably say this isn't like the worst. Definitely not the worst, but uh, I don't know. I'd probably bump up the recovery a little bit more so I can have a, tw a 30 
31. Yeah, so it'll be a 14, 9, 31. No, not 31. What the fuck am I talking about? 21. Uh, so yeah, 14, 9, 21. Eh, it's fine, I guess. Ursa Furiosa mobility is way too fucking high, but you would still, you should still pick these up. These are really cool. Not even like just exotic. The fashion of this set, set looks fucking amazing. I, I'm such a fan of the fur. Like if it ever loads. Yeah, like I think the fur looks amazing. And if you have the ornament for it, it's even cooler because it turns white and you get this purple hue. I think it looks really cool. So here's a Furiosos are really good. I'd recommend these. Karnstein's, what the fuck? That mobility is way too high as well. Ooh, I'd ignore this one. I, I personally don't use Karnstein's that much, if at all, if I'm being quite honest. But if you don't have these exotics, pick them up. It's always better to have them and, and like, how what's that saying go? How's that saying go? Uh, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. There we go. So just pick them up. You might never know. See the exotic. If it gives me a bad exotic dog, I'm just going to cry. Like, <sighs> it's terrible as well. Mm, Mobility is pretty high. Resilience is also like at 15, which is nice, I guess. Oh, this, I'm, I'm just so exhausted from getting the shittiest exotics, bro. So that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I will have a fashion video, Halloween fashion video specifically, right? Not right, right after this video, because I still have to do the editing and whatnot. But most likely by the end of today, we'll have another video out for you guys. If not, I'll have it uh, the first thing tomorrow in the morning. But I do have two Halloween videos for you guys and some other fashion stuff related. So if you guys want to follow me on my social media, it's links in the description below. Thank you guys for all the support you guys have been giving me and I'll see you guys later.